Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. I'm so excited to be back with you for another object lesson that goes with our Bible story. So this week, we are in our second week of Courageous Kids. And I am very excited about this week's story. I hope that you guys read it. This week, we are talking about when Jesus calmed the storm. And I think it's a great story. And I think it really relates to where we are today. So in the story, Jesus is with his disciples and they have been talking to crowds all day. Jesus has been very busy and he's a little tired. It's the end of the day. And the crowd has kind of followed him as he's been talking. And now they're at the edge of a very large lake. And he sees across the other side of the lake and he thinks that looks like a great place. So he tells his disciples, let's go get in the boat and let's go to the other side. And they're very excited to do this. So they all get in the boat. And now remember, several of the disciples were fishermen before they became disciples with Jesus and became fishers of men, right? So they're very accustomed to being on the boat. So off they sail. And as they have been out on the water for a little while, Jesus is tired. So he goes up into the bow of the boat and lays down and goes to sleep. And the bow is the pointed part. So he's up in the front and he's asleep. And while he's sleeping, a storm starts darkening the sky and comes over. And the waves get to be a little stronger. And instead of being on very still water, they're suddenly on very... Um, choppy water, which is what they call water when the waves start moving and the wind is blowing. So the wind is picked up and the sky is gray and it begins to be stormy. Now, a lot of them have been on boats the majority of their life, so they begin to probably think about things like, what should we do? Should we change the sails? Should we look for some oars? Um, and they're probably doing the things that they would normally do when the weather turns bad. But the storm grows increasingly worse and they become to be a little more frightened about what's happening, right? So they're a little more concerned. And I don't know if you guys have ever been um, on a boat, maybe. Um, maybe since we're so close to the, to the water, you could be on the ocean maybe in a boat or maybe you've been on a small lake or another body of water in a boat and you know it rocks and it moves with the water so imagine if there's a storm and you're you're rocking and moving so Jesus has been asleep the whole time and they are really now worried and so they shake him and kind of wake him up and they're like Jesus Jesus aren't you gonna do something we're we're about to die they're worried about capsizing which means that the boat would turn over and they don't want that to happen so Jesus gets up and he looks out at the storm and he just speaks to the storm and he says, be calm. And of course, the waters calm down and the sky brightens up and the rain stops and they're safe again. And he looks at his disciples and he's like, really guys? Like, what was that? Did you, did you not trust me? And can you imagine, you know, they're probably shuffling their feet and kind of looking down and like, well, you know, we did some stuff, but we were a little worried, and you kept sleeping, and Jesus was very much like, don't you have faith? Don't you trust me? And I think that kind of shows where we are today, right? I think we're kind of all shuffling our feet and, and wondering, oh, what's going to happen with uh, everything being closed? And what Jesus is saying is, don't worry. Have no fear. Be courageous and brave. I am with you. And I love that. I love the fact that we don't have to be fearful. So we're going to do an object lesson today about water. Now, remember last week, in our first week, we did an underwater volcano. And that was pretty cool. So since this week is about water still, right, the boat on um, the lake, we're going to do another one. And so you're going to need a few things, and you're going to get to do this with me. So you're going to need some kind of jar with a top on it. It could be a mason jar, a peanut butter jar, something with a tight, the top seals tightly. Ah, getting tongue, tongue tied. Then you're going to need enough water to fill it up. So I have some water here and I'm going to fill mine up. You need about an inch or so at the top that doesn't have anything. So see how I filled it up, but not quite. Now I'm using a very interesting, you know how Miss Tonya loves her mason jars? 
I'm using um, a very interesting canning type jar. This one is used for asparagus and things like that. So it's very tall. And I know you probably won't have something this shape at your house, but I think this is gonna show our underwater tornado very well. So I'm gonna use this, use whatever you have. And then you need a little bit of dish soap. Um, I've been using this a lot, right, since we've been doing things. And a little bit of white vinegar. So I'm gonna show you how to put this together. And I, you don't have to use food coloring, but I'm gonna put a little bit of food coloring into our water because I think maybe it will help it show up better on camera. So I, I'm using red, kind of hoping that that will help it show up a little bit. And then you need about a tablespoon of dish soap. So I'm gonna squirt some dish soap in. And then a little bit of vinegar. Now the vinegar is gonna help our uh, water not become too soapy, bubbly, sudsy, so that we can actually see our tornado. So it's about a teaspoon. So I'm gonna put a little vinegar in there, just like that. And then I'm gonna put my top on. And my top's a little bit differently. See, this is my top. And it goes on and I have a little rubber seal in here that's going to help keep the water in. And I'm gonna seal it down. And then we're gonna shake it. Now in several things that we've done in the last few weeks, we have had something to shake and I've told you you had to do it in a certain direction. This is going to be another one of those because we need the water inside to begin to move all together in the same direction. Like when the waves are all choppy, they're moving in different directions often. But we want this to move in the same direction consistently. So it doesn't matter which way. <coughs> Excuse me, we're in my kitchen. Um, I had to move some stuff out of the way. You may see my kitty's head pop up here in a minute. We're gonna move it in the same direction. So I'm gonna spin it and I'm gonna get it going. And again, it takes a few minutes, get it going really, really good. And I've even got a paper towel to put behind it because I wanna be sure you can see. So we're gonna get it going. So this would be like the rocking of the boat on the sea, right? And then can you see, can you see inside the tornado that's going? Oh, let me do it again. Let me figure out how will be the best way to do this. Let's do it again. What I found is after you do it the first time, the second, third, fourth time you do it is much easier. Can you see the tornado? There it is. See the tornado inside? So for me, what this is, is like Jesus calming the waters. So when we're shaking it, right, that's the storm. That's all the stuff that's happening in our world that we have no control over and it's crazy and we're really maybe letting it have more power over us than it needs. And then we have this tornado swirling, just like that. But when we focus back on Jesus and ask him and pray to him, see how it just, it just dissipates. He calms the storm and it goes away and everything is calm again. That's, that's kind of what I feel like this story is about. It's about Jesus calming our storms too, us having faith in him. Now, I have a special extra object lesson for us. You'll need a balloon and a hex nut. This is a hex nut, all right? It's got corners and shapes to it. So that's all you need. You're going to put your hex nut inside your balloon before you blow it up. Now, where the one in the jar was about the water and the waves, this one is going to be about the sound of the storm. So with this one, it was about movement in our water right? And we got the water moving until it literally formed that cyclone of water, that vortex of water that was pushing down. This one is going to be about air and vibration. So as you can see, I have the hex nut inside and when I shake it and make the hex nut go around the inside of the balloon, the vibration causes a sound. Do you hear it? So 
So that is the vibration, can you see the hex nut? Of the hex nut against, against the balloon's rubber surface. The faster you go, the higher the vibration, the higher the sound. The slower, the slower the vibration, the deeper the sound. So I want you to practice with this and see. And try different size hex nets. I actually have a very tiny hex net here, and I bet it would make a very different sound inside. So I want you to remember there's nothing to fear. We are brave and courageous kids. No matter how, how wavy or choppy, we can fix our eyes on Jesus and the storm will dissipate. And I think that is an amazing thing to be able to remember. No matter how windy, right? No matter how windy, when, when we stop moving and focus our eyes on Jesus, again, all becomes calm. So have no fear, guys. Have a great week. Try these things. Let me know how you're doing. Send me some pics. I miss you, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.